Hello, we are back with a series of trials. Um, sadly, um, Noah isn't available today, so Juno will be, his excuse will be, he's sick. We got cold last time. Yeah, he got, he got a cold. Um, right, so, um, you guys are just resting in your camp, um, enjoying the sweet night. Um, and then you hear a loud kind of crashing sound, and then everything shakes as your ship crashes into the camp. Oof. Uh, my ship? What? No. Uh, oh, okay. Their ship. Like, their boat. Okay. I see, I see. Mm. Uh, Who's on watch right now? You... Uh, currently it is Giggity. So, you come out and see just your ship torn to bits as it's crashed into the camp. With, um, Giggity inside the ship. What? I, like, rub away the sleepiness of my eyes with my fingers, but also in a way that makes it look like I'm really annoyed. You know, by using, like, my thumb and one of my other fingers. So, like, I'm holding my head in my hand. What did you do? Oh, hey. <laughs> Are you supposed to be on watch? Uh, watching, yes. Uh, pirating, also, yes. Let's not talk about that, though. You can't not. The important tell thing you. is that the important thing is that the camp is safe. You just broke a boat. Oh, so I did. You know what? I'm gonna sleep, and we can talk about this in the morning. Okay. Sounds better great. Hope I forget I'll about stay. this. I'll stay up and make sure that the camp is safe. Okay, good. And then Tarek walks back to the tent and goes to sleep. Alright. Um, a bit later, a man who had heard the commotion arrives. <laughs> Please introduce your character. Now, what is going on over here? Uh, walking into the camp, you all see a towering form uh, clad in silver plate armor and with a large, ornate, lion-headed maul and, and two giant clawed hands. You see a lion's head on top of this humanoid, and uh, he's got this like dark, kind of brown-blonde hair that kind of uh, fans out and uh, tumbles across his shoulders. And... Yeah, he kind of just walks in and he goes, <laughs> I heard a commotion. What are the it's two really of you funny. doing? It's really funny that you say towering because we're both three feet tall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, I mean. No, you are you are ginormous to oh, yeah. us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think um, I would, yeah, I would, I would be walking in, uh, weapon out, kind of glancing about to see if there are any enemies but from what you guys were saying, one of you is currently going to bed and the other one is still on watch? It's me. The other one's going in. Yeah. The other one's in the tent. He's too. He's actually too pissed off to sleep. Okay, so I just. He's also too right tired now. to get mad. Okay. Okay, I, he's okay, he's I just. You guys... Right, and who. Uh, sorry, continue. Oh, I was going to say so one of you, I can see which of you do I see and what do you, what do you look like? You see. So you okay. See... If you go uh... to. Popping my back, can't you? Okay, if you go to, it is me, I, Niggy. Uh, if mm. you go to character art, I am the green goblinoid character. I was oh hell a yeah! Photo of our party. Oh, okay, no, yeah, I see it in the in the channel. Sick. So that's what I look like. Oh, uh, pirate goblin. Right? Cool, cool. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, Shoot. Hey, Ash, for... Do you remember what I bought? Uh, you bought like, bells. 
Is that it? Yes. Okay, cool. You were mind. going to buy uh, tools to repair the boat, but you forgot to. Yes. <laughs> Just belt. Okay, cool. Don't worry about that. Anyway, so yes. I have put that in my items. Okay. You're welcome. Cool. So uh, I'm currently staring at Mr. Goblin Man here. Uh, do you say anything to me as I've appeared with my weapon drawn? Your weapon is drawn? Yes, I have a large maul, a giant hammer, and you can see uh, e even in the e uh, even in this dim light that the head, rather than, rather than there just being like a rectangular block of uh, stone, it is an ornately carved lion's head, a roaring lion's head. And yeah, I currently have it drawn, and I've walked up, and I'm asking what's going on. Um, so you are seeing this goblin fellow just kind of standing guard at the camp, and then you see a child, what looks like a mixture of a tiefling and an elf, um, look up and in awe at you and run over shouting, Kitty! Uh, cool, cool, cool. She then latches uh, onto your leg. Uh, I'm immediately not about this. Uh, I would like to roll athletics to shake the child off. Go ahead. Um, let me make a strength check with the child. Okay, athletics. I got 15. 15? Alright, let me see if their strength check surpasses you. Remember, a child's strength is greater than an yeah. adult's strength. Uh, yes, the child rolled a 29. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God. oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Get off! Here, the child. Alright, there we go. There it is. Level 5 tiefling. Damn. Oh, they, oh they damn, the, the child's thing. also level 5? God damn. Yeah. Okay, uh, they could beat me. They could. Seven, so the child gets flung off. Yeah, they're, they're all really good. Yeah. Oh god, oh god. Don't have some small kid beat me on my first roll in this in this campaign, please. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna happen. Please. No, no, please, please. please. Hurt. My strength is my hurt. whole thing. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I imagine uh, he is, I mean, like, oh, God, and he uh, is surprised, and he kind of shakes her off. Doesn't, like, uh, kick her off, but he just shakes her off and goes, oh, no, no, don't touch the merchandise, child. And you, Goblin, there, you've still not spoken to me. Are you for sale? I, no, no, I am, no, I'm not. You call yourself merchandise. Yes, well, ch uh, child, do you not see what I am wearing? I don't want you getting dirt or grime or whatever tieflings have on my, you know, pristine armor. Okay. Oh, At this point, I'm going to draw my weapon. He's a racist. Ugh. Okay, bye. A racist? A Tarek is going to mm. emerge from his uh, tent. He, yeah. Also he's the, heard what's going on, keep note that and he's hastily put ever... on his, like, hat. Right. Keep hmm? note that this is the fastest you've ever heard uh, Dupe actually speak to someone. Because mm. normally she takes a anyway, while to talk to them, but she sees Big Cat, she's gonna talk to here's him. Here's Derek. Racism. Oh, sick. Alright, so Tarek arrives, you see a tiny, uh, man. Mm. Also he looks very distinguished, though. Yeah. He is a very distinguished mm. man. Mm. Small folk, I mean you no harm. I merely heard the crashing of some large vessel into the land, and I came at, um, to just make sure that no one was hurt. Mm. I see that the three of you are all right. It would only be because this stupid one over here decided to break our boat. Ah, he's the one who crashed. Eric, I told you! Not to worry about it. So don't worry about it. Go I'm to bed. Go back to bed. <laughs> uh, I think at this point I will uh, sling them all back around uh, onto my back, putting it away. And uh, I'll continue to go, hmm. Well, what brings you three out here in the middle of the woods? 
We're doing something for town who helped us. Mm, something you said. We're on a quest. Ooh, a quest, you oh. say. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on something of a quest myself. Uh, pray tell, uh, what is this quest that you are on? Ash, could you quickly remind me exactly? Because I know where we're going. I don't remember okay, So why. you are going to a haunted house. Uh, so yep. basically there's these sacred grounds, and there was like an outpost house. Meant and there's like this oh, yeah. and it's yeah, haunted it, now though right but we don't yeah, know why yeah and thing is and are we trying to clear it or are we trying to figure out why it's haunted that's what i was wondering um try and find out why it's haunted and if you can get it to stop okay cool we have um, a i believe it's there's sacred grounds down just this way mm, uh, sacred grounds you say there's an outpost house there that was supposed to be used so that people could monitor the sacred grounds and make sure it was staying healthy and well, but unfortunately, uh, or so I've been told, I haven't been there yet, uh, it is fallen victim to being haunted uh, by what we don't know. Um, we don't even know if it's true. Uh, so mm. our goal is to find out why. Intriguing. Uh, my character kind of uh, cups his chin and he kind of you know, he's thinking to himself, and he goes, hmm, I've been sent on a mission of my own. I'm here tracking some creature, some ne'er-do-well that is stalking these woods. It sounds, though, that perhaps our goals are not too dissimilar. Perhaps not. Hmm. Fortunately, I don't have any comrades that are waiting for me. Ah, and you see that my character is like, kind of like working his arms back, kind of kind of stretching, and he's like, I would be uh, amenable to a uh, <clears throat> potential partnership. Perhaps you could use an additional hand in this uh, haunted house that you are after. That'd be very nice. Mm. June over there's been coughing a lot, so. Oh, well, that's not good. Not at all. Mm, I'll keep away from what I can. Then. But I think he just needs rest for now. <clears throat> I think mm. I'll leave him with the child. The child. Mm, I see, I see. Uh, Is it now, like, stronger than us? Combined? <laughs> who, uh, who? Huh? The child. Is stronger than both me and Tarek combined. Uh, I'm pretty no, sure. Not. Hmm. Stat wise, I think maybe. Who knows? Never mind. Continue. Uh, my character pauses and he goes, "Very well. Hmm. You are a man down. That's not good. Seems you would need my help more than ever. <laughs> or I, if you. Well, uh, I suppose. Have you not heard of the Thunder Mains before?" Did I make a history check? Yes, but Ash. also thank you for telling me their last name. Now I can go and put that into their... Yes, office. yes. So, Hi. Uh, <laughs> much, apolo like much, apolo much apologies. I, was I, have, I have a with... plus six on history, so... Oh, samesies. Incredible. I rolled a 12. Uh, uh, that's modified, so six plus six is 12. A man of the world. That I can appreciate. I rolled as well, I don't know if it matters. If it does, I'll let you know what the number is. Right. Yep, I got a modified 12. <clears throat> uh, you vaguely understand what it is. Um, give like a brief explanation of what your family is. Sure, uh, I think even in character, uh, my character would do this just because you know he's that guy. But he'll see the the, the kind of uh, initial hesitation on the two guys' face, and he and he'll just go, "Oh, the Thunder Mains. I see you're not familiar. Well, you see, we are all from the Western Island, and my family and I, well, our ancestors were once <laughs> beggars, thieves." Uh, lowly uh, Leonin who had no want or no say in their lives uh, until one day 
They grew tired of their menial labors, and they cried out to the sky, to uh, the wind, as it were, and it called back. We roared, and the sky roared, roared with us, and from that day we were blessed with magic. And, well, perhaps you'll see my magic in the trials to come, but for now, suffice to say that uh, I am royalty. I am, I am, I am, a, I am a prince. That, that's who I am. In that case, and, uh, what should I call you? You may call me Bregar. Bregar Thundermane. Warrior, philosopher, hero, whichever. Of course. Royalty, you say. Cool. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna then walk into the forest because I want to go do something. Oh, 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 oh okay. He's going. Bye. Uh, and Very what is your? No, you're good. I was gonna say, and what is your name, small one? I am Herrick Longshine. Um, Herrick. Mm -hmm. I'm professor of dragonology at the uh, Granite Hills University. Hmm, a learned man. <laughs> you and I will get along quite well then, I think. Your passive perception. Mine is nine. I have a minus one in wisdom. My passive perception is 12. Um, so you feel a tug on the back of your robe or your armor. And okay. somehow the child has slipped past you, and you do not oh, know how they got behind you without your knowledge. God. Uh, are they doing anything, or are they just standing? They're just kind of admiring Hoping. your clothes. And oh, the fact okay. That you are a big cat. Mm. I will decide to ignore this. Uh, Bregar will uh, uh, return his focus to Tergos. Now, do you have any wine? Uh, I've run quite parched charging over here to well, find a battle, but instead I found some new comrades. Unfortunately, I don't believe I took any with me. I was held prisoner for a long time. Hmm. I just quietly escaped. The goblin oh. has beer. I believe Ugh. my friend... Uh, okay. Uh, carries with him a uh, peg of alcohol. Yeah. Uh, well, I believe I will. I'll be alright for now then. Yeah, I, I guess. Is, uh, what, is, what is what is Gavin doing? I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I am yeah, in <laughs> I am not far into the woods. I am. I wanted to set something up. Mm, I see. Yeah, I think after oh, I that. Think I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think after that, Bregar, after having his uh, flamboyant uh, entrance, I think he's going to settle down on a log nearby, and uh, he will content himself with uh, polishing his maul and his daggers and uh, his war pick. And he'll just be chilling for the most part. Alright. Well, actually, are we going to just skip to the day so we can move on? Or are yeah, you going let's, to... Let's skip to the okay. day. I'll, I'll just describe what Tarek does since he's not going to go to sleep at this point. Uh, he's by the fire. Uh, he has his book out and he's writing in it. Dude would That's all go back to sleep. So basically, I'm going into the forest to collect as much, like, heavier wood that I can find, and then setting up, and as soon as it turns day, taking down a detection system. But that doesn't matter until we're actually, like, in the night and actually playing through the night, so. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, wood in the morning, and... When the sun rises, I'm going to check on Juno. 
Uh, just because I also have a little bit of medicine experience. Mm -hmm. I do lead expeditions, so I know how to treat some things, but it, I'm guessing I just come to the conclusion that he just needs to rest for a little while. Yeah. Okay. So luckily the destination isn't too far. It'll be a bit annoying, but you can probably hike there from here. Sounds good. So, um, what do you do? Make myself breakfast. All right. Breakfast. <laughs> so, what are all of your morning rituals? Hmm. I believe. Make myself Gregor. breakfast. Uh, and then read while I eat. That's what I do. Okay. I think Brega is going to make himself some breakfast as well, and probably some jerky and such. Um, elsewise, I think he's going to be doing some push-ups, some morning uh, uh, stretches and the like, just getting ready for the day. Alright, and Giggity, what do you do? Uh, as I said, probably take down the thing that I wanted to set up, which will become more apparent later, okay. and then probably just, uh, uh, probably just, I don't know how bad I want to, I want to investigate the boat, see how badly damaged it is. Oh, it's pretty bad like you need to pretty much just reconstruct another boat oh cool the boat's just like completely shattered into splinters oh okay <laughs> fantastic um yeah i guess i'll just uh eat i'll eat i'll eat food i have food All right. i have rations i'll just eat one of my rations uh i think while they're eating uh brigger is gonna call over so, um, Eric, oh. was it? Yes. Um, the three of you, well, two of you now, given your friend's uh, condition, um, you are effectively mercenaries. Is, is that what you are? Mm. Yes, yeah. no. I wouldn't exactly say mercenaries. Sure, but uh, how else should I put it? Uh, you are prepared to fight, yes? You're not just um, here to spectate? No. Right, uh, so what are, your, what are your capabilities then? I am a wizard. Ah, a wizard, you say? Hmm, okay, okay. And what about you, Goblin Boy? I'm not gonna answer. I'm gonna just roll my eyes and go back to eating. Which, by the way, I forgot I had tacos. I'm gonna actually just eat tacos. <laughs> or two tacos. I'm eating two tacos. Uh, yeah. Uh Tarek, does your companion here know Common? I, I don't recall if he spoke last night or not. Does, yes. Mm. Uh, uh, Goblin Boy, have I... Uh, are you offended by chance? Uh, <laughs> offended? No. <laughs> Want to piss a noble off? No. <laughs> yeah, I. Leave, I, me I alone. Leave me alone to eat my damn tacos. <laughs> uh, oh, are you saying that? Uh, more. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. I think that's a funny dialogue. I'll, I'll say that. that. Is pretty funny. Okay, okay. Uh, I think Brigger would laugh. He would go. <laughs> oh, mouth on this one. Uh, tell me, are you a bard? Do you like to <laughs> trade barbs, trade some wits, trade some uh, insults, or what have you? Or no. Gross. Oh, oh gross. Oh, no, I would say he's more akin to an assassin. Ah! I see, I see. 
Very good then, very good. Well, uh, for me, you can expect both brawn and spellcraft. You hear some hear rustling in the forest as someone's approaching. Derek's gonna turn to kind of like look at it, but he doesn't turn fully away from speaking to Regon. Uh, same. Or I mean, I'm gonna just continue eating. I am enjoying these damn tacos, <laughs> which canonically, by the way, I do have tacos. The only good thing this morning, god damn it. <laughs> yep. So, uh, a hooded figure wearing a lion s mask comes out of the forest. Oh, shit. Do you know this uh, let me person? Know. Oh, 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 just because they're wearing a lion mask? You're going to ask me if I know this person? No. All your stuff has lines engraved on it, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, he did say that he has no uh, party or no one around yeah, that waiting mean they for don't, him. That doesn't mean he doesn't know. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, but um, are you asking him that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, DM, do I, do, I, do I recognize this person? Uh, do an investigation check. Okay, My past okay. investigation is 60 or 16. With, with advantage. Ooh, I rolled really good, but I'll roll again. Am I rolling it, two or no? Um, that is that is a 25 investigation. I rolled a 19 Ooh. on that. All right, so you can kind of tell from the um, way they walk, uh, their like walk pattern, their um, kind of shape, the fine um, silk of their cloak that this is a um, person known as Hafsa. Oh, I see. Uh, in that case, uh, Brigar will put down his jerky, he will dust his hands clean, and he'll go, Hafsa! What are you doing wandering around in the dark? Get over here, you old girl, you! It is not dark. It is morning. I know it's. I know it's morning. I'm just. She must have been walking during the evening to get it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're in the middle of the woods. Yeah. Um. She walks over and uh, kind of whispers something in your ear, um, telling oh. you that there is mm -hmm. a search party for him up on mm. Earth. Kind of going through the forest. Uh, oh, a search party looking for me? Yeah. Uh, I a search party's on us, too. Uh, okay. She mentions uh, that it is her brother looking for him. <laughs> and she's uh, she's whispering this to me? Yeah. All right. Uh, Rayer will just kind of not go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm, I see. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Bigar will kind of nod back to him and go, uh, the heads up is appreciated. Thank you. Who are these people you're with? Ah, yes. Uh, we have, uh, Tarek. Uh, we have, um, I don't think I've gotten his name yet. Uh, uh, uh Goblin Boy, what was your name? Uh, my, my name's Negag. Nigag, yes. Uh, Nigag and Tarek, uh, these two fine folk. Uh, I came across them last night after I heard a tremendous crashing sound. Uh, I came running over and um, they were quite all right. And uh, after a bit of discourse and exchanging tales of our pasts and such, uh, I discovered that they are actually uh, searching for perhaps the same quarry as I am. So we have formed a temporary alliance, as it were. What did he say? Oh, did did you not hear me? What? 
No, was my uh, voice cutting out? No, Gavin said in the chat, "Let's go." He said it. Oh. Did it? Did his I say name? his name? Yeah, I said his name. Oh. Oh, someone actually said your name. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I asked, and he said his name to me, so... Yeah, it's just n everyone refuses to say his name in the campaign. No, they just sure. refuse in general. <laughs> they just uh, refuse in general. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm being, I am being in character, okay? I don't know what else to call someone when they give me their name. Alright, so, um... She then walks over to you and kind of... Um kind of trying to figure out how to talk to you. She kind of just, like, bends over like she's talking to a small child. How so, tall is she? Um, she's about, like, five foot four. Okay. Sure. Sure. Which one is she talking to? Me or... Uh, Gavin. Oh, I see. Sorry. Go ahead. So, um, what's your deal? Uh, sorry, S stuff. Um, uh, tacos. Then I go back to eating. What's a taco? <laughs> I believe it's a small. <laughs> sheds shed small tear for in uh, insolence. Well, to be I'm, fair, I... tacos were just invented by a bar that uh, by a bartender that you guys met. I believe it's some kind of goblin dish. I'm not quite sure myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice as to not piss off the nobles. I'm going to take two tacos. <laughs> two tacos from my stash. And I'm going to hand it to one to each of them. Oh, no, thank uh, you. I don't take things from goblins. Um... Damn, uh, Bregar uh, accepts the taco, but I I imagine that it's pretty small, so he's he's he is holding it between the nails of his thumb and pointer finger, and he kind of lifts it up to his eye and goes, uh, "What a delicately scrumptious small thing this is." Hmm. Well, my goblin friend, I I will accept this with grace, uh, and he'll proceed to put the entire thing in his mouth. Mm. The texture, it's at first rough and grainy, but mm. the beef really kicks in there. Mm. Ooh, got a bit of lettuce there as well. Ooh, salsa. Mm. Mm. Cover all 9,000 taste buds. <laughs> That's a 10. That's a 10? Let's go! The noble rated taco's a 10. A ten. <laughs> Let's go. Well. Try it another time. Oh, what a good. For now, I should probably go before my brother sees me helping you. Mm, well, if you must. Fair travels, cousin. Farewell. So she, she just kind of goes back into the woods. Right. Yeah, uh, bring our turn to the other two girls. I have no idea why she keeps following me. Honestly, it's it's kind of creepy. Like, I think she's trying to, to be nice. She's trying to be helpful, but, you know, I didn't ask for it. Um, I see. You know, I guess I just inspired the best in in. <laughs> <laughs> you know I. <laughs> you know I do. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, 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 sorry. I. <laughs> I I guess I just inspired the best in people or something. It's it's crazy. Anyways, uh. Is, is breakfast finished? I finished, yes. All right, excellent. Let us be off then. Indeed. All right, so you guys head out towards the haunted building. Um, hmm. There isn't really any troubles on your way. Just a bit of rough terrain. Good. Right. 
How long cool. do we have to get there? Uh, it takes you about uh, half an hour. All right. So you said that you were a learned man as well. What? I spent many a year studying the ancient themes, <laughs> the ancient texts of my uh, of my family and such. Um, the historian. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I researched the arcane, as it were. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm sure I do not know quite as much as you, a wizard yourself, but I have a few wizards in my family tree. Though most of us tend to align our interests towards uh, uh, the combat, the fight, glory, and all that such. I initially started learning magic to help me with my studies, but it's mm. proven very useful in this past month. You know, for other reasons. Magic rocks. Magic does. M- magic kicks ass. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I too. St- I started out as a historian, but my interest eventually led me to uh, draconology. Hmm, intriguing. I specialize in the study of dragon bones now. Ah, that is something I wish to see one day. The skull of a dragon, after I've smashed its heart within my palm. <laughs> uh, have, have you seen a live dragon by chance? I have. Ooh. I am envious of you on that regard. Yes. Uh, as the professor of dragonology at Granite Hills University, I have led many expeditions. Sometimes you find live dragons. Ah, perhaps I'll have to accompany you one time. Perhaps you shall. I'd be happy to have the extra help. Very good. Oh, uh, what we're discussing. Um, I think uh, Brigger is going to ensure that the tiefling child... Is the tiefling child coming with us? Is she in our no, party I at made, the moment? I mean... I made her stay with Judo. I see, I see. Okay. In that case, Brigger will, will be more open uh, in that he'll ask, uh, by the way, you three said that you are, well, not mercenaries, but you are adventurers to some extent. Uh, why do you have a child in your band? <laughs> we actually have two childs. You have two children in, oh, dear me. Now, look, I can understand, you know, the financial boon of uh, underpaid labor, but, you know, personally, I... 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 By dupes shouting, I'm part of the journey! Ah! No. Go no. back with Juno. But it's boring back there. I don't care, he needs someone to stay with him. How long has she been following us? It's an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Since you guys left. Go back. You all just kind of been ignoring me. I said go yeah, back. Happens often. Fine. She goes and heads back. So some information about her, which I find funny that people do keep forgetting that she's there <laughs> because it actually works well with her character. She's very light-footed. Making it where most people don't recognize uh, that she when she's with you or when she wanders off. Secret halfling. And <laughs> she likes to. Well, uh, she she's also okay. likes. She's very curious. Uh, she's doesn't really like talking to new people. And, also, I um, I did tell Duke stay nice, with you. Know. Yeah. She doesn't really listen she more of just kind of does what she wants and she's very stubborn and then Respect. she also has very high senses hey real quick uh, out of she character does, she does react pretty slowly oh, though, to things hey real quick out of character i have to switch to my phone for a minute uh i'll mute if it gets loud but I have to go upstairs for a second. Alright. No worries, King. We could also just 
pause as you do that. No, you're good. No, you're chilling. I'm literally going upstairs to, well, steal food. Anyway, oh, oh my gosh, I think my leg broke. <laughs> Oh, no. Not good. You failed your constitution save. <laughs> Paul's on face IRL. Shoot! <laughs> no, there's... It's... Not oh. my choice. I would prefer they weren't with us. One of them was with us when we were captured. Oh, that's how I met the other two. Oh. Oh, I, as you say that, both me out of game and also Br Br uh, Brigger in game are, are, they are suddenly like, oh, 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 I recognize. On the little uh, sphere things that they've been having, that those, they've been playing those games for the, you, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, uh, Watching through those crystal balls, they've been, um, what's the word? They've, they've, they've been showing, they've been divining uh, that game, that, that, that uh, the Emperor, what's his name again? Fafner? Fafner uh, is doing that game thing, and yeah, it wouldn't, I remember your lot got brought in and you were being forced to fight something, if I recall correctly. Yes, happened quite a lot. Ah, well. You know, before I thought a lot of you were, well, well, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Uh, but I can see now, you are all capable warriors. That is most impressive. It is not easy to escape the hands of an emperor. Trust me, I know. Um, hmm. Thank you for the compliments. However, it just took some time. Hmm. I see. Are they still after you, then? They are, yes. Hmm. That is something we should be watching out for, actually. That's why we have a watchman. I see, Although I Although the see. one who was supposed to be watching last night wrecked our boat. Hmm. Right, oh yes, I believe I forgot to ask, uh, yeah, what, wh why did he crash the boat? What was that about? I was not, uh, uh... Never mind. I don't want to answer that question. Mm. Oh, no. He, uh, the, I, the, the goblin boy does look a bit young to drive. I suppose it's not too surprising. Um, actually, I don't know how old I am compared to like other goblins. <laughs> You know my I love, age. I love the. I love the I like. Sh like like. Shut up, man. I am an adult, but 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 then it's like. I am an adult. How I old think. am I? Yeah. How old <laughs> am I? Shut up! I've grown up. I think I am. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> no, so no. I am ten in Goblin year, and I'm ten, right? But I think in Goblin, that's like a little yeah. older than normal yeah. humans. No, that I, makes sense. I don't actually. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Never the really aging thought is about weird. that. No, yeah, half orcs have a have a similar weird thing where like I think they're technically adults at like fourteen, no, which is a little yeah. weird. Goblins reach adulthood at eight. Oh yeah, goddamn. Oh, so I'm just a little older than. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well. Um. So, dang it! I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep dropping stuff. I'm gonna just like re reiterate that I am an adult and cool. that y'all are stupid in the boat. It's fine. <laughs> mm. I am actually quite smart, so. <laughs> Let that come back. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yes, uh, rest assured that while you're in the company of Bregar Thundermane, no mercenary or cutthroat will take your tongues. You mean? Um, okay, that was. Uh, okay, all right. Let's let's keep going. Yeah. Unless you guys have something to say, that's basically all. 
Terry was yeah. going to talk about. It. So yeah. eventually yeah. you guys arrive to the building, <laughs> and you see a man scoping out the outside of it. Seems to be an uh, elven cleric. Wait, he's an elf? Yep. Oh, I'm going to take my bow out. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, do we want to, um, yeah, I think Brigar seeing, uh, uh, seeing Giggity getting immediately hostile. Are we trying to stealth, or are we immediately, like, what's going on? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> alright, okay, alright. I'm gonna go up and talk with this person. <laughs> I will A-pose while I wait to see what happens. A post. <laughs> yeah, so you walk up to the Elven cleric. He's kind of just jotting notes and putting blessings around the property. Uh, I kind I of sent, like. I sent an image of him into NPCs. Yeah. Ooh, yes, let me see. I kind of just go, ho there! Oh, so hello there, him. little one. Who, what are you doing out here in the woods? I was oh no, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> he's, it's a fucking twink. Oh it's my twink. god. <laughs> I was sent here. I was supposed to investigate the area. Oh, so was I. Maybe we could help each other with this. Perhaps. I don't know where the rest of my party is. Is that goblin hostile? <laughs> no. He's just a little stupid. Wrong answer. Shoots guy in foot. I'm rolling for that. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, my God. This is chaos. Chaos. All my dice are like shuffled around in my pocket. Okay. My bow. I roll for. I don't know. How should I roll this, Ash? Strength. Strength. Fantastic. I got. Damn. I got a five. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, uh, that does not hit. Okay. So, um, as it flies past him, he, um, kind of shoots a, um, bolt of light at you. Oh, damn. Um. <laughs> Question, does a oh, dang. Hit? Um, let's see. Um, what's your AC? <laughs> yeah, it hits. <laughs> oh, damage. oh, god. All right, that was 22 damage. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, god. Was that a guiding bolt? Yes. Holy sh Oh, that's high damage for a guiding bolt. Oh, my god. You said uh, 22. Yes. Okay, remember uh, that number for me. Oh, holy crap. Oh, my God. Wait. wait so, am so, I the full... spirit, so the am spirit... I at... Oh, no, sorry. sorry, sorry go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Am I at full HP? Yes, you were before. Okay, cool. I'll minus that here in a minute. Yeah. I just have to go back downstairs. Yeah. So, so, so the series of events were... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Tarek walks up, goes, hi. Elf goes, hi. Hey, is that gum hostile? No, nah, he's just stupid. He shoots an arrow, <laughs> and the elf goes, "Where the power of God!" And then we just see the gum explode. Oh my god! As as I see him firing a spell, uh, I also cast a spell on myself. Oh yeah! All right, hell yeah! Well, because I, I, I don't know if he's like going to be hostile to us now. So I'm like, I think that was I, you know, for. yeah. I think Brigar immediately upon seeing uh, the tiny. Goblin boy, um, getting, getting, 
getting smited. I think he's immediately taking out his maul and he's going, and, and, and he's going to charge up and uh, try to smash this elf's head. In. Tara kind of like puts his hand back to be like, stop, I have got this. Uh, 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 okay, okay, if okay, if uh, if you raise your head to stop, I think Bigger will. Uh, yeah. Um, he's gonna do a persuasion check to see. Like, that was uncalled for. Yeah. Let's see. All right. So um, he starts speaking to you. Um, I mean you no harm. That was just out of defense and to kind of get it in the head of that goblin not to attack me. You struck down a boy! <laughs> Who knew a, not what he was doing? That is a grown mm. elf. I mean, grown goblin. What? Uh, Don't I'm gonna you roll... dare him ever uh, call me an elf again. I'm gonna roll insight to see if uh, Brigger can tell if he's a, an adult. Okay, that's a two <laughs> insight. Uh, Let's go! Guy. Let's keep it going! Let's keep it going! You... You know, but like Tara kind of like points to his mouth, and you can see like there's like some kind of orange light coming from it a little bit when he talks. So he, uh, makes, he starts making, he pulls out his staff, and a divine light comes as he makes a chant and um, heals Nagag, uh, uh, oh, okay. healing 24 HP. So you are back Ooh, wow. at max. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So I have to do anything? Yeah. Okay, this has been. I'm gonna just keep laying on the floor though, just because. Stay out of my way. Dramatic. <laughs> just because dramatic. A man of the cloth striking down a child. You're just kind of laying on the ground in shock, like all the air <laughs> struck from your lungs. You're just. You know. <laughs> you know, you know Tarek basically his... said, "Yeah, we can work together, right?" Yeah. Even as he heals him, he's like, "Just stay out of our way." Um, I think you might need a cleric's help with this. This is dealing with um, spirits, after all. Mm -hmm. I do Would have I some spells that could quite help. Did I stutter? Alright. You two get uh, to the house. I'll fall behind you. Take my hand. Giddy, giddy. <laughs> I, I reach down to beg his hand. So, I, I reach up. I reach up like a little baby. <laughs> I take it. You <laughs> took that attack well. Now, what you need to do next time is to have a wider stance and be ready to dodge. You know, kind of like a leaping motion, right? Um, avoid uh, projectiles are annoying, but they can be dodged. No, no, no forget. As you go inside. Um... The cleric is trying to um, find the room of main haunting and um, roll a history check of this uh, place. Everyone? Yes. Yay! So good at history. Let's go, history boys! Ooh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, oh, you guys are gonna love that. Natural what I twenty rolled. plus six is a twenty-six. Let's go! I got twenty-two. Gavin, what did you? Oh, get? dang it! Never mind. It's Nat an intelligence 20. roll. I was gonna Nat, say. Nat Wait. Yeah, history is intelligence, and um, so intelligence I have plus zero, and wisdom I have minus one. So oh. if it would have been a wisdom-based check, I would have gotten a nat one, but dude, I got zero. Dude. <laughs> Nat 20, so modified 26. Roll, did you roll a nat one? You rolled a two. No, I rolled a two. Yeah, he means he would have got a modified one. Yeah. I would have got a modified, sorry, not a nat one. My <laughs> vocabulary's off. That one is much worse than a modified one. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but, um, so, this place, uh, so, Nagak comes in, he's just all, like, building. Um, you guys recognize this as the outpost, um, of the graves, uh, basically the old village of a now extinct race of Kitsune called the Emerald Shadow. This was kind of a watch area to make sure no bad omens would enter the grave site. Mm. 
and um, there are like lots of memorials to them, and um, there are even um, there's like lots of paintings of what the town used to look like, and lots of tributes of the last surviving one named Nix. And you even see his guitar laid to rest here, behind a casing. Well, his lute, not guitar. And you even find in one room his old sword. Oh. Known as, um, it was named Albin. So the map is posted in maps. Yeah, I saw it. Let's go. Where are we at right now? Um, oh, sick. You are over at in the first room. Uh, feel free to do checks in different rooms to try and figure out where the main haunting is Which happening. Which was the first room? What? Which was the first room? So you're checking in the first room? Which one? No, which one? Room? Yeah, is it the left one? Like the is left the top one? one? Is the middle one? Like, look, you can see oh. the key at the bottom. Oh, I see, I see. And then yeah. there's a door. Is there, is there a door? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. It's it's kind of hard to see on it, but it's like a brown rectangle. Uh, oh, I see it now. I see yeah, it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're chilling. So, yeah, it's not going to me. Yeah, but... so we see a staircase, we see a hallway forward, and then we see a hallway to our left. And then. Another hallway around that corner, around the staircase. Yep. The cleric is just kind of going through different rooms, checking um, for any spirits. Um, could I, by chance, after seeing that cleric casting his his magic and maybe seeing him wielding um, uh, his divine focus or whatever, can I make a religion check to see which god he worships? Um, sure. Ah. That is going to be a 17 for religion. Um, he worships the um, forest and sun god. Oh, okay. Forest and sun god. Right. Okay. Upon seeing the stairs, I'm going to child run up the stairs on all fours. Uh, those are not stairs. That is wood. Like, uh, for a fireplace. That's a lot of oh, wood. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I thought there were stairs. Um, oh, same. Okay, then I'm gonna... I guess it's a big house. You need a lot of wood to keep it heated. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. And I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run down the left hallway, then. Each room Tarek is gonna... has a fireplace, if you'll notice. Like, almost every room has a fireplace. I see. Yeah, Tarek is gonna start doing investigation. Uh, I can I... roll for that if you want, but just, you know, my passive investigation is 16. I think I will stick with Tarek and give him the help action to give him advantage on his investigation checks. Alright, make an investigation check. Okay. With advantage. advantage. Yes. Yep. Cool. I'm gonna grab a drink real fast. Alright. Alright, 21. 21? On the best... Alright. Um, that, that as well. Uh, you see a figure kind of like poking uh, on the right, from the right hallway, kind of where the wood is being held, kind of like peeking around the corner. Uh, let me get a photo of it. I'm back, by the way. Welcome back. Just Sprite. getting a photo of what he's seeing. I'm also guessing that this thing's song is copyrighted. Yep. Or my volume is off so that I don't play the copyright music. I've been playing Nighttime Forest Nature Ambience in the background. Um, I, in Minecraft, I have a um, mod that adds oh. like a new ambience. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, yeah, I... Yeah, I have my music turned off in Minecraft. Let me turn that. Oh well, no, that stuff only works off. for me. Oh, uh, okay, no worries then. I will turn on some spooky house music for myself then. Right. Uh, 
Um, here in the NPCs is a photo of what you're seeing, kind of like walking by. It's going okay. to the right of the house. Oh, oh God! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. So we're seeing this outside the window in that first room that we're in, still? No, it's inside, kind of like near the wood pile. Oh God! Well, oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's in oh. building with you. <laughs> um, and it's right in front of me and Tarek. Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess Brigar will look at Tarek. He like nods and he sees that too. Should we leave it alone, perhaps? For now. No, Derek's have... gonna like flip open his book and make a quick sketch of it, just because he like he doesn't know if it's gonna come back. So mm-hmm. it's best to get it while it's still fresh in his memory, because he has a really good memory. But short-term memory will always be better at transposing things. So. You know, I've I've always wondered why ghosts have dirty clothes. You know, because it doesn't make quite sense, right? Because they're dead, and if they have clothes um, on still, it's her not... clothes look burned and charred. Yeah, even worse. <laughs> like you think that you would. Oh. I love how this guy's such a chauvinist. This is great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, I I always love playing different character ar- archetypes. I've never played this this kind before. I'm, it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, I've been listening to this really cool song, or it's more like sound effect, whatever. It's called um, uh, called uh, Block Dot Fire Dot Ambient. Looking it up right now. Every time, every time we play Minecraft, it's always just playing in my ears. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean what? Oh, I'm a dumb. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought you were. I thought you were actually recommending something. <laughs> it took me a minute to find the name, but I got it. Yeah. Okay, so there's a ghost who's chilling next to the firewood, and our goblin friend ran down the left hallway. Uh, oh yeah. Did. Um, did my buddy Tarek see anything else besides the ghost, or is it just the ghost in the front room right now? Uh, the ghost is, like, walking towards more of the right rooms. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, Tarek, do you want to, uh... Hmm. You also notice oh. that the, uh, fireplaces have not been lit in a long time. Hmm... Do you think it it would be insensitive to start a fire? The building is very cold, especially like the closer that that thing gets to you. Should mm. probably start a fire, anyways. I feel like that's a bit like triggering, though. Like that would be that would be you know she's obviously a burned victim. I don't know if it's proper to start lighting fires in her house. No, oh, I'm just messing with you. I'll go. I'll go get some wood. Uh, Brigo will walk over and he'll like get like five logs in his arms, and then he'll uh, like. Is there a fireplace like right nearby? Uh, look at the map. There are fireplaces in most of the rooms. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't know that yet. So I'll I'll kind of I'll be like, Hey, uh, Giggity, have you seen any fireplaces? I call down the hallway to him. I haven't really done much. Um, can I look into the room above this far the hallway? There's bound to be a fireplace somewhere. You're looking into the room of where? Above the hallway to the left. All right. Do I see the fireplace? Uh, yes, there is a fireplace in there. Okay, it yells back. Yeah, there's a fireplace in here. Hmm. I'm a coming, uh, and I'll just I'm a yeah. I'll uh, I'll walk over to that room and I'll uh, I will put some fire logs in, and uh, I I think my explorer's pack would come with flint and iron, um, so yeah, I'll just I'll try to start a fire. 
Right. Uh, make a survival check. Oh god. Minus one, don't fail me now. <laughs> okay, that's an 11. Right, that's, a, that's an 11, it's not okay. bad. So after a bit of trying, you start a fire. Um, you start hearing screaming and wailing from the far right of the building. As and um, Tara can see a dark green mist coming from the room, um, starting oh. to fill the building. Uh, I feel like I called this. I'm going to investigate the room that we're in because I can't see <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, we slowly just close the door, like, all right, Tara, you can handle this, I'm sure. I just close the door into the room. All right. So there's kind of like a turned over table that's broken. It seems like this used to be a dining room. It's talking to you guys, by the way, just so you yeah. know. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, you got it. Yeah, I'm we'll letting Giggity do later. the thing. Is, is there anything that sticks out in this room? Can I look for anything that sticks out? Well, there are Other some, than the table. There are some sticks. They're sticks! Holy shit! That's cool. Those, um, those like stick out. Okay, cool. Oh my god, this guy stinks! Yeah, I'm gonna walk across the hallway to the room, to the bottom. Alright, um, you see the mist starting to fill the building. Like I'm gonna ignore it room. and walk into the next room. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like we should do something here about this. Uh, the cleric comes by and is all like, "What the hell did you guys do?" <laughs> Never before in my um, history of dealing with the supernatural have I seen someone piss off a ghost this fast. This fast? That's why. Uh, oh, oh, is he walking into the room with me and uh, no, he's Giggity? in the area with. Uh, okay, well, so with with Tarek, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Giggity went down. He left the room. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll go with. Yeah, I guess we're gonna reconvene then. Sure. So he just like looks at the miss and hears the um, wailing. Is so, like, what did you guys do? Fire. You do know what happened to the, uh, so, if this is, like, a ghost from the gravesite nearby, you do know how they died, right? It was a great fire. Yep. I don't you think they it, like but... fire. Yep. Can you put that out? Well, I thought you were a cleric with spells that we would need. Can you not dispel this fog? Uh, no, I can speak with the dead and try seeing what they want. Mmm, convenient. <laughs> uh, though you clerics always go, maybe you can perform miracles yet coming up short. Uh, right. uh, well, what right, were we so, doing? Uh, uh, yeah, you guys um, are dealing with ghost. So, uh... Um, oh, yeah. So, the... I just realized you guys never got his name, so I'll just keep calling him the cleric. So the cleric can kind of like casts speak with the dead and try speaking with it. What is it that uh, you are wanting? Why are you here? And you hear some like groaning from the back. And uh, he, it says, it, she says she wants a music box. Mm. With a leaf imprint on it. Intriguing. Well, I suppose we can look for that while the ghosts are hotboxing the house. <laughs> hey, yo, hotboxing, hear me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes. Which uh, ones have that? Oh, do we have that? I, yes, I don't have it. One of them does. I don't know who. Uh, I don't. Uh, 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 <laughs> Unless I do. Him. You want me to call Noah and ask him if he has it? Oh, do you have the music box? Oh, God. <laughs> the guy who was sick and didn't come had the music box. 
Here, I'll ask him uh, if he doesn't have it. I'll say that Tarek has it since he's the historian. But, um, or it's still in one of the room. Imagine it's still in one of the rooms. You guys know. Oh, we definitely it. took it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if I Shayla so. had it? Wait, didn't Shayla take it? Shayla did take it. Oh, I think she did. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Cleric, uh, could you ask if the ghost wants something else? <laughs> but... I'm looking at my list of stuff that I have. No, it's pretty set on the music box. Uh, mm. Other than that, it it wants to stop burning. Mm. You're not on fire. Get up, you ain't on fire. <laughs> I think she's in a state of constantly reliving her death. Hmm. Couldn't be me. Well, um, uh, I think Rhaegar will just turn around and walk back to the room that he lit the fire in, and he'll kind of glance around, and I assume there's maybe like an old blanket or something, and he'll use it to like douse the fire or whatever. Is this is this character a little girl? Did we specify that? No, oh, man, it looks like a full-grown lady. I mean, yeah. Did you see the art? I did not. Where, where is it? She's a woman! NPCs. It's in the NPCs, yeah. Alright, scrolling down. Yeah, no, that's why I was being like, oh god! Oh no! When I was seeing it. Interesting. It's like, uh, she's weirdly happy for being in pain, you know? You should call, you should call Juno real quick. <clears throat> Big ol' smile. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I would like to put out the fire that I set. Alright. Um, the mist starts going away, and she goes back into the room and starts crying. Mm, okay. Uh, I walk back out and go, Hmm, what a peculiar mystery we have before us. Right. I wonder. Um, I am going to go into the room and try removing the curse from the building so I'll it'll remove her from here mm, very well because I do after my investigations around here I do sense that she is here on behalf of a curse mm, a curse set by whom um it seems to have been a powerful wizard. Uh, Eric, what the heck? <laughs> huh. Eric, I would be <laughs> most impressed if you were able to cast a curse of this magnitude. Unfortunately, I'm not. Ah. No worries then. Tis only a matter of time. Um, but alright. Cleric man, um, you may go and do your thing. Um, he, goes, he goes in there, and, um... I'm sure he'll be fine. Tries kind of, like, reasoning with the ghost, and you should then... light the fire again. <laughs> While he's in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tarek oh can say that. Out of character, we should oh totally light God. the fire again. Help! Hmm. Uh, cool. So he's... Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. He's going to use... Um, bless and remove curse. So, um, that kind of helps the creature not... Uh, this helps the ghost not be bound to the place anymore. And after a bit, he comes out with a old necklace. Alright. Um, the ghost is in here now. Um, we made a deal so that she'll leave the building, but we must help her find the music box. You guys, uh, do you guys know about this music box? Why do people watch this in your phobia? What? <laughs> what gambit? 
Yeah. So, um... Ah! <laughs> oh! You're not nice, Gambit. Oh. <laughs> answer the question. Just answer. He's mumbling. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So speak clearly. I said, why do you have hippopotamus monstrous quepidiophobia? What do you sorry. What? I'm sorry. What is that? Out of character, isn't that the fear of long words? It is indeed, it is. yes. That was it an out of character question. Classic. classic. Which is ironic, because that's the longest word in the English dictionary. Well... Hmm. I th I'm pretty sure there's longer... Uh, the, the volcano longer... one, where, like, uh, volcanic ashes get into your lungs. Yeah. That's longer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so, um, he asked you a question. What was the question? Uh, if you guys know about the music box. We do. Uh, it's will easy. you One take our... this ghost with you? Until you can help take it. Take them with us? Yes. They'll be in the necklace and sometimes be able to speak with you. I'll take it. Alright. So he hands over the necklace. Do you need um, company on your way back to your camp? I don't believe so. Um, I would not. Um, a prince such as myself would uh, dishonor my family in name if I were to allow a child beater into our midst. I'm an adult. Yeah. You shot a child. Not a child, that's a full grown adult who shot at me. Whatever you say, Cleric, your words might be honeyed with your texts and your wisdoms and your religion, but they will not work on me. I. I could be quite helpful to your party and. <laughs> Be off! God, I about a shoe. <laughs> no, I. Damn. He rolled a nat twenty on per, on charisma. Charisma. <laughs> so he's doing a charisma check on you to try and like persuasion check to see if he can convince you to let him join your party. <laughs> Take your shirt off. <laughs> he takes his shirt off. No! Oh, well. I am now uncomfortable, and I now that want you help. here even, even less. No, that, that did not help. That did the opposite. <laughs> oh, who's the party leader here? No, me, obviously. I don't think so. I am literally more than double the height of both of these guys. You could put them on top of each other, and I would still be taller. What do you say, um, halfling man? It's being very pushy, this elf. I know. Yeah, I've seen... He really wants to join your party. <laughs> what do you have to gain from us? I want to help those in need. Oh, so you're well, saying that we look like we're we're in need? I, well, are you saying that that we look well, bad? I think oh that your goal could align with mine, and if I travel with you, I could help. Um, mm -hmm. Sounds awfully familiar. Way. Where have you heard that before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this still a no? Unfortunately, I don't find your judgment to be the best. Despite what you offer, I find it is almost negated by the negatives. Mm. Well, um, if you ever um, need any help, ask around for a Crowley nobleman. That is my name. Right. 
your name is Nobleman? Yes, that is my family name. Okay, so you're Will do. Nobleman the Nobleman? Yes. Or are you not a Nobleman? I, you were a Nobleman. I don't... My, my family <laughs> are the... Um, my father is the mayor of the town that I hail from. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, well, May intervene. next time we run into each other, you'll have changed your mind. So, um, he'll kind of just head out and, um, leaving behind a parchment with his name on it. Does he not think we can remember his name? I don't. <laughs> he... uh, oh. That was... That was an odd fellow, I do say. I didn't like him very much. No. Oh. No, neither did I. Again, he shot a child, which is a bit harsh, I would say. Um, anyways, uh, we do have this necklace now, which is neat. Mm. Have you two been at this house before, or is this your first venture here? This is my first venture here. Uh, I Can I do a history check? We already failed your history check. Oh. Well, he's asking the question, so mm -hmm. can I? All right, sure. Have you ever... <laughs> Dope. He's asking if you've ever been here before. Do I remember if I was here before? <laughs> History. Don't feel me now. That's a seven. You have no Perhaps... idea if you've been here before or not. Perhaps in another life, I've walked these halls once before. I've never walked these halls so... before. So... Well, then again, so it, is... it must be the new kid. So, <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. so <laughs> you must be the, the new Smosh cast member. <laughs> cool. So, you must be the new party member. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I must know that this house is a freaking hellscape. Just a bunch of, yeah, just a bunch of chosens. Uh, yeah. All right, in that in that case, Brayer will 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 go. Yeah, Brayer will go. Well, there might be some goodies laying about in this house. I think. Perhaps before we head back, we should have a gander about. I'll investigate inside a little bit more. If you two want to check the outside. What, uh, we... what rooms have we all been into thus far? Um, just the main room for me. The cleric went like all throughout the building. You guys just went into like the main room and mm. above. Yes, but I'm gonna go check inside works. the building to see if I can find anything that he missed or didn't tell us about. Yeah, right. same. Or ask the ghost about things too. I don't know if we can talk to the ghost, though. Because we don't have the spell, and it's in the necklace now, right? Yeah. No, I was told she could does. Talk. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be speaking. Yeah, she's just vibing. Yeah. Alright. Um, you just see different, like, um, art of remnants from the old race that was wiped out. This is kind of like a little mini museum of their tribe. Oh. Mm. I run outside to the backyard. Uh, I am sorry, uh, I don't know what to call you. Uh, do you have a name? It's fine, I guess. I was just wondering if you knew anyone by the name of Shayla. No response. Yes. She seemed to know what the music box was, so... I assume maybe you knew each other or something. It's it's fine. She was just one of my friends. Anyway, he's gonna keep um, checking around the house. Is that all he finds? Hmm. It's just remnants of... Uh... uh. 
the room that they were in, like the main haunting room, was a um, room dedicated to Nix's family. Mm-hmm. So that's like the room with his sword and loot. Loot. Do you want yeah, that's an investigation or? Uh, sure. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. Damn. Right. Eighteen uh, plus six. I have really good investigation. You see an old painting with like a young Nix, um, kind of standing next to a, um, next to a young chain, and then there's also a painting of, um. Nix's little sister. Hmm. I put her in NPCs. Oh. Sorry, we're seeing a picture of this person, or? Yes. No. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I guess after we look through the house, uh, Burr's gonna gonna go. Um, Trella, can you tell if that sword that once belonged to Nick is that a magical blade? Can you use your um, arcane abilities to identify it, perhaps? Or do you detect magic within it? I can go take a look. Uh, Ash. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm cool. assuming I roll arcana for this. Yes. Which is something I also have really good stats for. That's a modified 20, 14 plus 6. Let's Damn. freaking go. Um, yes, it is magical, but it seems to be dormant right now. It holds magic inside of it, but it's not active. Hmm. Well, for clarification's sakes, this haunted mansion, is this owned by anyone, this mansion? Yes, no, maybe so. It's basically an outpost outside of the village. Um, I believe it belongs to the village. Ah, very good then. They will need every advantage they need. They can get. Let us be off. <laughs> I, wa- I walk out the door. I don't look back. <laughs> Not even gonna grammar check yourself. Just I look bite. off into the horizon with the wind blowing through my luscious locks. Ah. <sighs> Terrick will follow behind, I guess. Uh, can you guys hear me, by chance? Yes. Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Well, all of you have been ignoring me. Can I go to the backyard? Yes. Cool. <laughs> is, is the well in that picture canonic? Yes. I'd like to investigate the well, the bottom specifically. <laughs> Hello. It's a well. It's a well? Is there anything in the well? No. <laughs> Liar! What's in the well? There's nothing in the well. I'm gonna jump into the well. He's oh lying. my god, no! Little boy, no! <laughs> little German no, boy, don't fall into the well! No, little German boy, don't fall into the well! Oh, oh. my! Oh, this is <laughs> noise! What is this? Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, so he is now stuck in a well. Oh, he! Oh, he! Oh, he actually jumped down. Oh, oh. God. oh you! You have no idea. You have no it's idea. Like, it's like I do say the little boy has fallen down the well. <laughs> Chef, <laughs> what do we to do? Um, there is not a uh, bucket. Like it's broken. Mm. So. Um, not really a way back up. Perhaps this is nature trying to tell us something. <laughs> Perhaps we must let the young <laughs> and for themselves. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go help him. <laughs> yes, I will. I will help you. I will help you. Uh, oh, I do have some rope in my explorer's pack, I believe. Very good. Let me verify I do as well. that. How deep is this well? Ash. Checking. You're checking? You have a lift? Uh, it's about... Um, it's about 200 feet deep. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, and you took no damage from falling to that? Guess not. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what about the water? Where's the water end? Oh. Uh, where's the water start? Yeah, that's where the water is, so it's deeper than that. Oh, that's my God. Holy crap. I, I only have 50 feet of rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> oh. Uh, little goblin boy, can you hear me? I have another 50 feet, but I don't reach halfway. Yeah. Can you climb up? Hello? <laughs> is, it is pretty uh, tight. You might be able to spider his way up. Oh my, is he dead? He's not responding. <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. I, I was trying to think of something clever. Um, in, in, in Goblin, you hear like little... Uh, like a in goblin response that sounds very like <laughs> fulfilled, right? Mission accomplished type mm. response. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know what he said, but I think it was good. Can you <laughs> climb up? Um, see, I'm gonna use uh, my two daggers to climb up out of the well. Well, I was wondering if you could just spider up because it's a well. They're not that. Well, some of yeah. Them How wide is this well, Ash? Is it a oh, small well? It's a pretty small well. Okay, so we'll then I'll just up. I'll so just spider up. Make a athletics check. Oh yeah, baby, I'm good at this. You can do it, Goblin Boy. Athletics. Oh yeah, baby, here also, we go. Um, with disadvantage because you are freezing right now. You were wet and, and wet. very cold. I roll twice, take the lower number. Yep. Yep. No! Guess what my second roll was? What's up? It was a nat 20. Guess what my first uh, roll was? It was a 1. It was a 5. Mm. So that's 7. My lower is 7 uh, with the modifiers. So you're unable to get up. In fact, you start kind of um, wasting your energy and starting to sink a bit. Uh oh. Oh no. Mm. Well, mm. <laughs> this is not ideal. Um, uh, so, um, question Are your tacos in your normal inventory or in the bag of holding? Uh, everything that I own is in my bag of holding. Okay. Asking the real questions <laughs> in, this, in this situation. <laughs> He's, he was he was trying to be you slick feel, and be like you feel your heart sink as you sense soggy tacos in your uh, bag. So Eric, no! he's gonna ask, Eric, I'm gonna ask um, Brego for his rope so we can tie it together. I'll give the rope, yeah, and then um, I'll and then start. He's gonna throw it down so that he doesn't have to climb as high. Oh yeah, and I will hold the rope then. I will hold yeah. it. You hear um someone behind you uh you hear crow Uli come back uh what are you guys still doing oh my here? god what are you doing here get out um, I'm going to anyway, at least let him roll again but this time without disadvantage because he only has to climb half the height get this guy out of here i'm going to the um old village to pay respects Okay, so you walked away, and ten minutes later, you've walked right back to here. I realized that I wanted, I've been wanting to visit this place for a while. And can I, can I roll insight on this guy? Can, can I roll insight on this? Can we get a, guys, can we get a background <laughs> check on this mofo? Uh, oh god. Okay, so that's a two minus one, so that's a one. Not a nat one, but that's a one for insight. Yeah. I'm trying to tell if this guy is like. 
Because it's pretty suspicious that he just came right back and was like, oh, you know, I was just going off to do this. Yeah. Um. You can't Wait, tell. Wait, too trusting. Hmm, uh, I can't tell. You can try, though, Gambit. So, to try. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well. Oh, yeah, inside, I'm good at that, too. We're getting all my good checks today. See, if I wouldn't have jumped down the well, we wouldn't have had this heartwarming experience. 19, 45. Uh, he seems to be like a very, like, he means well and actually wants to genuinely help. I hate this guy. I'm not buying this for a second. He kind of has second. a weird way of going about it. Although he does get pretty defensive when people mess with his image. Anyway, so yeah, can we have Gavin roll again, this time without disadvantage, because it's only sure. halfway that he has to climb up? Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go, chat. You need some extra That's room. a... That's a two with a modifier of... Are you so mad at this? So that's four. <laughs> All right, uh, you start sinking under the water now. <laughs> You know, when, when I started this uh, here, session, here I wasn't just... expecting to have one of my teammates die from jumping in a well. <laughs> um, I didn't expect that. Wait, what's either. the range? I need to know the range on this spell real quick. So he gives you guys a um, hundred more feet of rope. Uh, why is he carrying a hundred feet of rope? Why is he, he carrying? He he's twice, carrying twice. He's carrying twice the rope that no normal person would. <laughs> he has his reasons. <laughs> he has his reasons. Oh me, oh me, secretly. It. He's a twink. He's um, a twink. He then, a twink. Oh, no. he then himself jumps into the well. Oh and, my god. Um, and the lands right on top of him because we hear him so we hear him smash into the side of the well of him. No, he's <laughs> using he's the, back. So he's using the edges to skid down slowly instead of like right onto him, <laughs> and then pulls him up so that um, he's not drowning. And then he is going to make a strength check to see if he can start climbing up to what you guys have done so far. <laughs> well, I'm tying the rest of the rope on, so... Yeah. Well, I guess he's you just gotta hold him there. Yeah, he's doing a strength check. Yep, he holds him up pretty well. Cool, alright. I tied another 50 feet on. Alright, do it one more time. So I can put the last 50 feet on. Alright. Um... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm holding he the rope. Uh, he's gonna use a spell of his. So now he's just kind of standing on top of the water while he holds Nagash. Jesus? No, oh, yeah. Anyway, I tied the last 50 feet on, so I'm guessing... Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah, tell I'm, you, I'm, I'm a yeah. there's another... He kind of... Yeah. Let it go raises, lower. He raises Nagash to let him climb first. Well, we're gonna haul him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nagong uh, is he's so. So, um, you guys do a strength check together. All right. I will roll strength. Yes. Ah. I'm so bad at strength, but that's okay because we're both I doing it. I rolled a 19, and that's plus four, so that's a 23. Oh, my muscles! Oh, my, oh, my body! I rolled that's an 11 awesome. minus one, so that's a 10. <laughs> Child's so play. average, average, average. Rope pull, I guess. You have a bitch rope pull. Yeah, so you guys pull them up successfully. Uh, as we get Nagad uh, out of the well, and as uh, <laughs> as Crowley is about to climb up too, I <laughs> I I lean down and I look into his eyes, and I say, "I'm going to <laughs> no, I won't do. I won't push him back in the well. I won't. I won't. Then, um, starts, I won't. So then he starts a um, campfire for everyone um, for a short rest. Okay. <laughs> and um, uses a spell to create um, bread, fish, and water. Hmm. 
I'm, he I'm, is I'm, Jesus. He, it's this guy's really elf Jesus. <laughs> 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 okay. I should stop making this character elf uh, Jesus. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I, These I are guess. Legitimate it's... spells in the class. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Create food and water. So, so I was yeah. going through, and I'm like, ha ha. That's like Jesus. So I just made his power set as Jesus oh, yeah. like as possible. Hey man. Oh. Hey man. That you know, that's totally valid. So that's, he can that's walk that's totally on valid. water. He can remove curses. He can bless people. He can create food and water. Um. <laughs> He can um, smite you. Uh, he can heal your wounds. He can remove curses. Like, the real question. This dude is just straight up Jesus. Can he turn water into wine? Yes. Okay. Yes, he can. Am I, I, am I, have, I might have to reconsider my stance then. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm. Uh, I think because I rolled a one on insight, um, I think Bregar will hesitantly accept the food and water. Um, I, I I think it's still extremely odd that this guy is so, uh, and pardon the the irony here, uh, uh, here so hell bent on helping us and sticking with us. Um, I'll, I'll accept the food for now, but Bigger is not really talking to him or whatever during the short rest. All right. After the rest is over, he um, bids you farewell and wishes you guys luck as he starts heading towards the grave site to go pay his respects. Hmm. Oh. We should probably that was really check weird. on you now. Yeah, it was quite weird. <laughs> I suppose we should probably get back to check on Juno. Mm. Indeed. Perhaps and... the elf wished to redeem himself for trying to kill you before, Goblin Boy. Huh? Well, he tried to murder you before, and he came back and he saved you. I think that was more of a um, kind of like a um, you attack someone so they just like hit you back kind of thing. Hmm? Who they said that? Take into... No, this is me outside of it. I'm hearing the wind. Oh. <laughs> hearing the wind. I'm hearing yeah, the yeah, wind. No, I know. I, I know. I am talking. I know. Look, trust me. I know. I'm pl like, this is my character saying this shit. <laughs> I, I do. I, I, I'm playing like, into, the, I'm playing in, into the bit. <laughs> but it's like, imagine. You love the bit. Imagine. It's like the equivalent of um, he shot an arrow completely missed just in his general direction. There's no proof that it was going near him. And then he pulls out a shotgun. It's kind of like that equivalent. Yeah. For sure. And then brings him to the hospital. That's pretty much what happened, but D&D &D styled. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, Which is yeah, why look. Tarek said he thought his judgment wasn't the best. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is why this is why we don't like this guy. All right, I guess let's head back to the camp then. Yibby. We've got a lovely blockade of ghosts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys leave. Um, this man went to the gravesite, so you guys parted ways. Oh my goodness. After a while of traveling, you get back to camp. Um, Camp is on fire. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> uh, it's not Chaos a big rings. fire. Like, it seems like it just started. Like, the campfire got out of hand. And you just see... Um, you see Dupe trying to, like, get rid of the flames, but is instead fanning it. Uh, how big would you say it is, It volume-wise? Um... Like oh. can't be that big, right? It's not that big, but it's. Okay, I'm running. I'm just gonna use control. To I'm just gonna use control flame, and extinguish it immediately. All right. So, like, you guys just see me go, nope, and it just disappears. <laughs> Impressive. The arcane arts are a mystery. <laughs> I'm pretty good with fire. Oh, also, um, he left you with the food that was left over uh that is 
28, hold up. How much food you got? Where is it? Yeah. Create food and water. Um, so you have about uh, 40 pounds of fish Holy and shit. bread. And 40 pounds of fish and, and about, bread? Um, 20 gallons of fresh water. Oh my god. Uh, so that's probably a bag of holding. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank God for bag of holdings. Oh, my word. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys beat the ghost? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Let's just say yes. It was a daring bout, I tell you. The winds were howling. The demons were rocking at the floorboards. I jumped <laughs> down a well. He jumped down a well to recover a lost locket that we needed to capture the ghost. This one. And yes, indeed. Right Derek, like, takes it out of his pocket, like, holds it up. <laughs> Just, like, mm. uh, looks at it in fascination. And Tarek waved the arcane powers to capture the ghost. And now we're, we're here. And I was also like pretty freaking sweet. By the story. Yeah, I was, I was, I was pretty freaking sweet too, so. Lying to this child. <laughs> <laughs> you have to inspire the youth somehow. Of course, of course. Anyways, yeah, where's this music box? It's with a friend of mine. She was the first one I met when I was captured. Did we... Is it with... Thing. Is it with her? Or did we... It, it, is, de <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely with Shayla. Okay. Just a reminder I, I that... that. Um, Advic did someone... That did send someone to um, retrieve the items, and they should be arriving by now to the village. Ooh. Guys, we should, should go back probably to the find village. a way to get Juno back. Hmm. Juno can go in my bag of holding. He only gets what five minutes of air. We'll take him out every five minutes. It's not that hard. <laughs> I don't trust you to count. Please, please. Well, I might be of a noble and awesome heritage, I am not beneath helping my fellow man. I can carry him. That'd be great. Say man. I think we're everything but men. Uh, okay. Man, humanoids. I don't judge. Is Juno not? Oh, no. He's half elf, right? <laughs> he's a half elf. Oh, he's, he's elvish? Oh, never mind then. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't it also be incorrect to say fellow if you aren't a man either, technically? Oh my god. Okay, I get it. I get <laughs> it. I was trying to talk. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brigar will. What do you call him? a platitude? Yeah, uh, Brigar will carry him. Sure. Sure. Right. You be. So go you back to the town. Back. Um, this one is much of a harsher journey because you're not just sitting in a boat. Uh, fair. Yeah. And you're also carrying someone. So this is about a, um, it's a longer Ooh. journey. Uh, it starts becoming night when, before you guys are even halfway back. Oh. But, um, you come upon a field as it's getting dark full of horses wow this is worthless <laughs> this has no this has no I think one of us is too big to ride the horses, and the other two are too small. <laughs> That's why I said not. this is worthless. The other three. Uh, fair not. I can keep up with your... What are those? Horses? Yes. 
I can keep up. Our horses. No. <laughs> Please. These aren't ours. It does seem like um, there was a poor encounter. Like, these have some reins on them. And um, there is an abandoned carriage. Oh, so there's there's a field. field. Uh, well, I'm going to run to the in this woods. Jeez. Yeah. I'm going to go to the carriage as well. Tarek has driven carriages before because, uh, obviously. He... You see some burn vi victims. Like, it looks like um, the Ugh. people were trying to run away from something and got burned. You. Hey, Tarek. You hear whistling in the distance to a tune. Uh, I will quickly uh, step like kind of into the uh, carriage to set Juno aside just so that they're not immediately n uh, noticeable and they have some cover. And then I'll step back out of the carriage and I'll start to loosen my maul out as no, I hear. I, I think Gambit knows who this is. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Gambit so. knows who it is. I'm, I'm, I'm looking about like, who is that? No matter, we should focus on getting back. So, a while ago, I worked on making a book. Poor and souls. This, this was the main antagonist of the book. I never finished it, but Gambit was the co-writer of that book. Oh, that's neat. Ooh, yeah, he's, he's kind of known as the Whistling Flame. Oh. Uh, so do we hear this whistling approaching us? Is no, it in the distance? It's just in the distance. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I guess I'll keep carrying Juno then if we're gonna just keep going. How's the carriage's state? Is it just like it's in speed? good condition? It seems like. Oh. Oh yeah, we could also just take it. Yeah, the person the didn't attack the carriage. It just attacked the people. Yeah, let's let's yoink this shit. Yeah, we yoink him. Yep, I can drive a carriage, so that shouldn't be a problem. I can be driven. I'm gonna be driven. Oh, homie's used to this kind of treatment. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yes. Chauffeurs for days. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> because it's by horse. <laughs> no. no. Meanwhile, Juno's like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yep, so I, I guess um, I'm driving as, the carriage back. Yep. As you're driving the carriage, a um, crow kind of lands on your hand and, and starts like tugging the reins to go a different direction. Oh my god! I'm gonna breathe fire on it, dude. Dude, if this is if if this is Crowley again, I I I, I, I swear, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> I'm breathing fire on it. I'm doing it. You're gonna breathe fire on it? Dragon oh. breath. Fire. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> to roll for damage. Yep. Yeah. Well, and I'll to see if you hit it. I love it. Oh no, it automatically hits. Uh, it's just whether um, or not you take full or half damage, so you may need to make a I, dexterity 14 I, saving throw. I. I. I, I <laughs> I think Bregar would be sitting inside the carriage, hanging out with uh, Juno, and then suddenly just hears, <laughs> like, from the transfer, and it's like, whoa! Right? Yep. Needs to be 14. Uh, 11. Ha <laughs> You take 10 damage. Or the crow does, I guess. It's enough to kill a normal person, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> yeah, so, um, the crow's HP reaches zero, and... Uh, the wild shape turns back into their original form. <laughs> I hope it's curly. Mother. You see half uh, she's looking pissed at you. What the hell was that for? Was that really the best way to do that? There's a Wait, search who? Part, there's a oh. search party for you guys up ahead, so we might want to take a detour this way. Wait, sorry. That would have been so much easier. I missed, I, I missed who we're yeah, talking about. I, yeah, I, I was also distracted for a second. Who's who's talking? Your cousin. Oh! Oh, wait. So, oh, wait. Is she... Wait, was she polymorphed? 
Yeah, she has wild. Oh, wild sh oh shit. Okay. Uh, I'm currently in the carriage right now, but do I hear her from? Yes, you hear your carriage. Uh, no, from outside, from outside, what you see, hear and see is just ca -ca -ca -ca! and then Turk's like, "What the fuck? Get off me!" <laughs> it's like this plume yeah. of fire just <laughs> he radiates into the back, and then what the fuck? Oh, the birds are here again. <laughs> oh, but if I hear my cousin's voice, I'll peek my head out of the carriage and go, Oh, my cousin, it's good to see you. Uh, what seems to be the matter? We would just better go to the village, have some drinks. Oh. He then uh, raises a finger at you and says, One second. And then she looks to uh, Tarek. Uh, so I'm trying to remember what I wanted her to say. She was saying that there was a party up ahead looking for us. Yeah. Um, when Juno's about to... Uh, I mean, when Tarek's about to speak, she like kind of puts a finger over his mouth and says, uh, is, don't speak, you'll lower the intelligence score of the entire forest. Damn. One moment. Damn, bro. Uh, it's rich coming from take, you. You will take uh, 10 vicious mockery damage. Ooh. Hey yo, that hey yo, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> she spent she spent bars, dog. Oh shit! All right. Cousin oh, him down hard. Shit. <laughs> oh shit! God damn! Make the next 30, 14 saving throw again. Oh I have my! A, I have a whole I have a whole list of um, insults for her to use. Her just is is still moving. Cool. You're, she you're, spits bars. I spit fire. You're, you're, gonna, again. Fr you're gonna freak out the horses. The horses are just like walking, <laughs> and there's just waves of like there's gouts of flame being shot <laughs> all over the place. She sure spits bars. I spit fire. What are you doing? Told that there's a search party up ahead. She's dumb. <laughs> She's I dumb. Dumb. I should say, <laughs> I would prefer you <laughs> not <laughs> roast. I prefer you not roast my sister, even though she's already oh, roasted you. you. Oh, in ways. <laughs> right, 10, so how much damage does she take? Oh no. I'm rolling right now. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Dice, don't be mean like that. 15. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, you also catch fire to the horses and their reins and they snap Jesus off and run away. <laughs> That's not how fire works, but okay. Mm. <laughs> First of all, she was on my hand, wasn't she? So I'd be looking to the side. Well, no, oh, no, I thought she transformed she's, back. Yeah, she's back. Ah, yeah. uh, I see. Yeah, that, that's still. <laughs> the reins didn't snap from the fire, they snap because the horses are freaking out. Mm. They're already pretty like not well, in you, the best yeah. condition. And you you are dealing fifteen damage to the <laughs> reins as well, technically. Yeah. So that Ooh. that would break them. That would, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. plus them freaking out, yes. The yeah, man. Are breaking. Yeah, Tarek, uh first smart guy, yeah um, uh yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I guess text. I mean, uh, I guess you now Piro's. hear the um, party start coming your direction as they are hearing this commotion. Yippee! I do, I do say it seems we are in a we are in store for a a, 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 a rabble. A rabble? So this this so. spell is a uh, condition, so I don't need to cast it again. I can just keep doing this without having to cast right. any spells. Uh, cousin, how many did you say was in that party? About, um, that party is about 20 fully armed guards. Oof. Oof. Is this... That is, and we do have an ill, uh, incapacitated passenger with us. I would not wish to risk them by going headlong into a battle. She I start, say... She got, starts getting some spare reins from the back and comes forward and uses wild sheep again to turn into a horse. Oh, this is <laughs> ingenious. Look, my cousin is so uh, handy. This stupid. is great. It's stupid. <laughs> stupid. Fucking stupid. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll, I will hop out and help get 
uh, my cousin's setup with the reins then, I suppose. And then give them to... Uh, give them to Tarek. And then I'll... I'll just go back in the carriage. <laughs> uh, let us be off. Enjoy your luxury ride, I guess. Mm. It's everyone from their family, this dub. <laughs> Well, uh, what did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, pretty good. Must have been the wind. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Perhaps, perhaps <laughs> it is trying to speak to me. <laughs> oh, it, it's only natural. As it once spoke to my ancestors way back when. Um... So before we go, uh, I do have a really good question for you, uh, Mr. Halfling. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you going to do with your face when the monkey wants its ass back? Mm. You're on thin ice. Cousin, that was a bit, um... That wasn't as good. I'm just gonna say that. That mm. wasn't as good. That also oh. did less damage than the last one, so it does seven damage. Oh my! You're still actively attacking him. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Bro, him stubbing his toe can kill him. We were spell. able to calm things down, cousin. What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! So when fully set up, she starts. Run like, thin ice. I'll lease you to the party. Oh. So when she's fully um, hooked to the carriage, she starts kind of going away from the search party, trying to keep you guys unnoticed. You're just watching Coco Melon in the back. <laughs> Coco Melon! Do, 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 do. Right. Juno, look! Can you see the... I mean, how Juno's like pale... Eyes half lidded, like drool and froth coming out of their mouth as you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, look, the melon has a face on it, and it's right, talking uh, to it to it to an orange. So everyone, do a stealth check to make sure you're quiet enough to where the party doesn't hear you guys. What if I'm just I not talking? <laughs> All right. Oh my oh. gosh, I have uh, so make, such good. Make a stealth check with advantage. I got a 15. Alright. Uh, I rolled a... I rolled a 19 with a plus 4 modifier and a natural nat 20, 20 with a plus 4. Okay. Pop off. Natural 20. Oh my god, popping off. I got, I got 23. Alright. So, after... Modifier. So, you guys get past the um, search party. And um, you guys are on your way to the village. Yibby. That is where we are going to end today's session. Woo! Sounds good. I hope half some dies. Woo. Up, up. Mm -hmm. That was a great so first session. I hope you session. enjoyed this episode of A Series of Trials. <laughs>